Right now, police are still looking for two men caught on surveillance video robbing a liquor and grocery store in Bucktown, shooting one of the employees. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza spoke with the owner of that store about what happened and how that man is doing. At last check, that 26-year-old employee was still recovering at Stroger Hospital. Surveillance video shows two robbers entering in the store, and despite the customers handing over their wallets, those robbers still shoot the employee. He was just pulling out his wallet, and they shot him. It didn't matter that the wallets were on the counter. Shots fired anyway. Should have never happened. Uh, whatever the uh, they asked for, you know, we provided it. You know, they asked for... Uh, pull out their wallet and there were customers here. There were like five, six customers here. Uh, we just tried to give it to him. Diptash Patel has owned Bucktown Food and Liquor since 2017. This is the first time, he says, someone has been injured in his store. Never had no issues, never had no trouble with any customers. You know, they respect us. We respect all the customers who walks in through the door. Those two men walked through the door wearing masks and in all black, surprised the five customers inside, fired through the plexiglass, shards flying. Another bullet struck the employee behind the counter. They just uh, shot him. The store is right next to Alderman La Spada's office, who told CBS2 in part, quote, I'm shocked and angered by the shooting that happened. They've always been good neighbors to myself, our office, and our community. The aldermen and staff at the store both calling for justice. I'm just so feeling so sorry for him because uh, I hope everything great goes well. Uh, all we want to keep continue serving the community. The owner tells us he's now going to be looking into new security measures to make sure customers and staff feel safe, something he says he never expected to have to do. We're in Bucktown. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.